Good day, fellow hunters. Um, I have another kind of a semi-homemade uh, do-it-yourself prop showcase for you. Um, this is actually one where uh, three simple components came together to create um, one of actually one of the favorite props that I've made by myself. Um, like I said, the three components are ne not necessarily things that I made on my own. Um, but the actual, just combining the three of them, um, is a completely original and, um, unique prop, I think, that, um, I've never seen before. This right here, um, the lid is open, but this is basically a lantern that I found at Michael's. Uh, ironically, I was actually looking at their Halloween merchandise, and one aisle over, I noticed that there was a big sign that said 80% off of whatever it was they were selling. 80% um, is, is a huge uh, discount. And so, you know, it intrigued me. So I went to go look over there. And they had this large lantern. And the lantern sits about maybe close to two feet tall with the lid. Right now the lid is open. Um, and... It's basically just like a large lantern for you to put a large pillar candle in these in uh, on the inside, and then there's like these um, uh, vent holes so you can uh, it it does close and then of course it hangs, um, and so I saw it and just on a whim I bought it because it was actually originally seventy nine ninety nine eighty bucks. And with uh, the discount plus the coupon that I had, I think I came out of the store paying maybe eight bucks for it. And when I saw it, it just really totally just screamed at me as being a Halloween prop. And um, so this is actually what I came up with. And there's three components. The first one is the lantern that I just spoke about. Um, it should still be available at, at pretty much any Michael's stores around the country. Um, just look in their summer, kind of like their outdoor decor aisle, um, where everything is 80% off. Um, they have different sizes. This is actually the largest size. And like I said, it was uh, $79.99. And then um, at the time that I bought this, I had the coupon where you could take 10% off your entire purchase. Um, as of today, which is August, what, 16th, 17th, um, that, coupon, that, that coupon is not available, but still, 80% uh, off, $79.99 is still a pretty good discount. Um, so that was one component. The next component is, and I'll show you right here, um, is the LED, uh, the miniature LED lights that they sell at Michael's. Uh, they have these located um, by the uh, Spooky Town, the Limax um, area. Um, they have it in orange and they have it in purple. And I got the orange just because it looked way creepier. Um, those, I believe, were $8.99. And I, got, I picked these up today with the 40% off coupon. So they were about 5 bucks also. Um, and then the last and probably the main piece was the head that you see here he's upside down you'll see how everything comes together but this was actually um i picked this up from trendyhalloween.com and it was basically called the um i want to say it was called like the severed screaming head prop something like that if you go to trendyhalloween.com and just type in the keywords of severed and head and screaming you'll come to this and he's sold pretty much in a lot of different places i've seen him um obviously on trendy halloween i've also seen him on uh, fright props and trendy halloween had him the cheapest at about 11.99 and um so i i went ahead and i picked him up uh after shipping and taxes he was about 17 bucks so you know not too bad and he is, um, he's not a full-size head, he's smaller than an average head, uh, and it is, it's, you know, just foam with kind of like a creepy cloth, uh, cowl around his head. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly right now basically what I did. 
what I did was the lantern originally the the top was like this um kind of like a light blue denim type of color and this the top is actually it's metal uh and I ran I spray painted it kind of it was a uh, spray paint that I got from Home Depot called Hammered Silver so I I spray painted it that co that color and then this is the lantern itself this is this is all real glass right here um but the frame is wood and I spray painted that as well um the same color as the lid uh this was originally white um it just wasn't creepy enough and then I went on the inside rim with the uh, orange LED lights from Michaels and I just hot glued uh, each individual light um, along the rim of the lantern um, so you'll see that the, the wires are really bunched up and uh, I still need to find a way to how to hide those um, they're kind of just mushed under the lid you'll see when the, once the lid is closed and then with the foam head which you're looking at upside down, all I did was with the hole, the vent holes at the top of the lantern, all I did was simply just pull the, uh, the string, which you can see, hold on a second, the string, which is right here, I just pulled the string to a height that I wanted the head to kind of uh, uh, float or levitate in the lantern. And then I just secured it with a uh, with a zip tie. And if I pull this down, you'll see that the head is kind of just it's tied up at the top. And then I'll show you right here. This that's the battery pack for the LED lights, and it's uh, crudely secured to the inside of the lid of the lantern with painter's tape. Uh, but I do plan on uh, making that a Velcro. Uh, uh, secure, secured with Velcro so that I'm able to uh, change the batteries when needed. Um, so once again, all it is is a summer lantern from a Michaels, the orange LED lights from Michaels, and the foam head in which I got from Trendy Halloween. So I'm going to show you, this is exactly how it works. Basically, I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to feed the head into the lantern, and he kind, of, he kind of just drops in there, and then I close the lid, and this the lantern has a locking mechanism here, so it just locks closed. So then you see the face of the whatever it is. You can call it a ghost, you can call it a ghoul, you can just call it whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this just basically a um, ghostly head in a lantern. And so he's in there. And so the, the purpose for the orange LED lights was to illuminate him from the top. And I want to situate his head so he's not, you know, looking at one of the uh, frame parts. So all you have to do is just open it up, and then I'm going to try to one-hand this and try to situate his head so he's facing an open spot, and he'll just, he just drops right down in there, and so I'm just going to come back and secure it shut, and so there he is there. So you can see, like, he actually moves around, so it almost looks like his head's floating, and there's nothing at the bottom. And then if you look up at the top, you can see, you know, you can barely see the string that is connected to the top. Um, so it really does look like it's a, like a ghost head kind of levitating in the middle of a lantern. And, um, like I said, it does have a hook. So I think it would look really cool to be hanging, um, kind of like high above in your home haunt. Um, you, you know, even setting on a table is pretty creepy too, but I think the idea of it hanging, you know, being suspended is pretty cool too. And should you, you know, if it's suspended, you know, this is pretty heavy, but if you suspend it securely, 
you can actually kind of move it around and that kind of, sh you know, it also shakes the head around as well. So that's basically the whole prop as it is. Um, and then the uh, battery pack for the lights are actually pretty easily accessible. So you just open it up, turn on the on button. And so now you can see, and I'm gonna turn off the, my flash in a moment so you can see, once again, locking it shut. So now he's illuminated from the top and um, I'm still looking for a way to kind of hide the actual light bulbs um, to kind of creep it out. I'm considering just painting the top of the glass to kind of uh, camouflage the light bulbs. Um, but still the, the main point of this is to illuminate the whole head. And it is kind of like a, you know, all around thing. You can see the side of the head. You can see the back of the head, you know, so it's glass all around. There's his profile, which is creepy. But I just, I really love the detail on this face. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, jump cut real quick. And I'm going to uh, turn off my flash and turn off the lights. And so there he is, pretty much in all of his glory. I'm trying to get an angle where you can see the face. If I back up, you can see the entire lantern lit up. And, you know, I really love the fact that, you know, it looks like he's really suspending there in midair. And you can't tell that it's suspended by that string. And again, it looks kind of, looks a little cheesy, a little tacky to see the lights there. Um, so I want to somehow ca camouflage those, but as of now, it, lo it looks really cool. I actually really like the way it turned out. Um, looks a hundred times better in person than it's coming up on my camera, and it looks super creepy. In a pitch black room, this is an amazing prop. Um, I totally recommend trying to do something similar to this. And the way that this is set up is you can really... Um, change the head out to whatever the head, whatever you want the head to be. Um, there's many, you know, severed head props out there. And this is just one. And I really like the way it came out. And here's a uh, further distance look at it. And, um, you know, like I said, it, it looks way better in person when the lights are off. Really hard to pick up the full uh, effect of it on my camera here um, but you know what again I think I paid let's say I just paid even 10 bucks on the lantern uh, 5 bucks on the lights and you know 15 bucks roughly on the head so it was a prop that came out to be about you know 30 bucks which I think is a pretty decent price for the for this prop um, I look forward to um, displaying it somewhere in my home haunt. I do plan on hanging it in the uh, haunted mansion, haunted house section of the home haunt. And uh, I think it's going to give some, some pretty cool scares. And I might even, you know, change out the heads to see how different heads look. Um, but I really like this face and I like this head a lot. And um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll put links in the description of where I got all these items so you can check it out for yourself. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, happy haunting.